Welcome back to Lumios Tower, where we're aiming to be the very best like no one ever was. And today, we're going to be doing some more Pokemon raids whilst uh, talking about another competitive discussion. Today, specifically, we're going to be talking about Regulation C and uh, kind of just what this means, why people are talking about it, uh, what kind of Pokemon we could see getting some love, and what kind of Pokemon are affected by Regulation C. All kinds of fun stuff. Before we get into the discussion, I will give a little disclaimer. I am currently uh, coming down with, uh, hopefully not a cold, I think it's just allergies. It is pollen season, uh, so I might have a little cough and a little clearing of the throat here and there. But yeah, let's, let's get into some raids and talk about this. So what is Regulation C? Well, if you're not aware, uh, the Pokemon Company does like different series for... Uh, the competitive bracket so this would include like your online ranked battles as well as uh your uh, competitive vgc so like you know the the pokemon regionals air nationals those kinds of things and the big deal with regulation c is that this kind of has added some Pokemon, but taken away a lot of Pokemon that are available. You see, uh, each bracket will have, like, some Pokemon that are available, some that aren't. Like, they'll say, uh, like, the very first bracket, Regulation A, was you can use all the Pokemon in the Paldea decks, but uh, no Paradox Pokemon, no Coridon or Miridon, or no uh, Ruinous Quartet Pokemon, as well as no... Pokemon outside of the Paldea deck, so like Charizard was available at the time because you could get via raid. You couldn't use Charizard either. Well, then the very next one was about uh, the Paradox Pokemon. They added the Paradox Pokemon into uh, the available Pokemon, and that obviously shaped the game because Paradox Pokemon are seriously scary competitive. Paradox Pokemon are... I mean, their stats are incredible. Their learn sets are incredible. You know, you even see uh, recently there was a VGC tournament and a regionals in Charlotte, North Carolina. And in that one, just at the very beginning, I think it was like 55% of teams had a flutter main on it. So that's just an idea of just how competitive these Paradox Pokemon are. Well, Regulation C... Uh, we knew was adding the Ruinous Quartet. So, you know, Chimpao, Wochen, Chiyu, and Ting Lu. However, what we did not know was that these would also be taking away the Paradox Pokemon. And that uh, many people missed that detail and are seeing it now and are like, oh no, uh, because, I mean, now Fluttermane isn't available. Iron Bundle isn't available. And at the time of recording and when this video will go up, we have not yet seen the Fort Wayne tournament. The Fort Wayne tournament comes uh, on the Saturday after I'm recording this. I'm recording this and uploading this on a Thursday. And it will be coming on April 1st specifically, which is the day Regulation C begins. So it will be the first tournament with Regulation C, and all the players are going to be brand new at it. They're, you know, not going to have time to have practiced Regulation C online or anything because it just became a thing they're having to get to the venue before they can practice unless they're staying up to midnight and i highly recommend if you're participating in fort wayne get your sleep it's going to be a long day you know don't don't stay up to midnight that's going to be miserable but yeah so so what pokemon are affected by this uh, the most obviously paradox pokemon uh that's that's a big hit. Uh, like I said, Fluttermane was on like 55% of teams. And then uh, when the top cut was made, it was still like 60% of teams. So, you know, not great. Not great. Uh, it's not something you want to see for sure. It is going to open the room for a lot of uh, different Pokemon or Pokemon from Regulation A to shine again. Like, I honestly think Don Dozo and Tatsugiri, while those sets have been run uh, pretty commonly in Regulation B, I, I do think they'll become even more prevalent in Regulation C because you you no longer have to fear a Flutterman. Flutterman was actually very detrimental to uh, Dondozo teams uh, just because Dondozo is a physical uh, bulky bond, so it takes physical hits really well but not special hits really well, and Flutterman is a special hitter. 
and then once it pops the Dondozo and the Tatsugiri's left on the field, well, a Moonblast will take care of that little guy. So, it, it is a very, uh, a very new thing to come back and like after we've had all this time of exploring these paradox pokemon having to adjust to a non-paradox pokemon world so shortly after too uh, other pokemon you know screamtail saw a lot of love uh with wolf glick winning the orlando regionals with a parish trap team built around screamtail you have uh brute bonnet i've even seen a decent amount iron hands is another huge one uh, iron bundle iron hands and fluttermane are probably the three biggest great tusk as well very big users so uh, i imagine golden go is going to see a lot more light uh, golden go already gets a, a fair amount of usage but i think it's going to see even more usage now that uh you know it's able to come in and uh, be the standard special attacking ghost type because uh, fluttermane's gone uh, you also have the fact that you know something that could hurt the ghost type is the entry of the ruinous quartet you know that's that's going to be four dark types that are available in the game you know one thing about ghost types is they don't really like those dark types now for the ruinous quartet chi yu will be the one most used i think uh chi yu is incredible i mean it it can like in the right circumstances it can you know oko uh, a, a gastrodon it can it's like if the sun's up and you're helping hand it, it can one hit KO a Gastrodon with overheat, which is insane, by the way. Uh, but also, uh, Chin Pao is definitely a uh, very viable Pokemon. It's, you know, it, it doesn't have the best typing in the world. Ice Dark has a lot of weaknesses and a lot of common weaknesses at that. And it's not the bulkiest mon, but it is fast and it hits like a truck. And you know that often does see a lot of usage uh, that definitely will see usage in singles for sure uh, get your fighting types ready because chim pow is coming in and again that just brings us back to okay well what's a good fighting type for me to use well a great fighting type for you to use is iron hands but you can't use iron hands i, I kind of wonder if because it's got the same typing maybe pomet could see some love and maybe we could even see some revival blessing sets i totally thought we would see more revival blessing sets in vgc you know when we first learned about the new the move uh revival blessing you know revives one of your pokemon to half of its health so i thought we would see a lot of love for this move uh, but it's only on two pokemon pomet and rabska and no nah, they're they're not getting a lot of play so you know it, i've seen a decent amount of them like on on our battles i have seen uh some Rabskas. I've seen one Rabska, and I think I've seen two Pommets. I've definitely seen one Pommet. I think I've seen Pommets twice, though, and I, I've definitely seen more of both of them, you know, off of uh, camera, like just in ranked and stuff. I have seen them, so, you know, m maybe Pommet will see some play. I don't think Rabska will, but I, I do hope Pommet will see some play, and we'll see some Revival Blessing sets come in. Some other fighting types, you know, there is always a chance, although I don't think it's a high one, that we do see uh, the, um, I'm totally blanking on the name of it, Hariyama come in. You know, that, that could be something we see. It is a fake out user, and that's something that Iron Hands really benefited from. Uh, plus Guts, or Thick Fat, you know, you have some options to make it more physical, more bulky. It, it did see some love and it made it to the finals of the world championships and alola one of the world championships and alola so it, it's nothing to sleep on you know it, it really could come in and it really could do some damage so you know don't don't be hating on hariyama is all i'm saying i, I off the top of my head that's kind of it for the fighting types we oh flamigo is another big one too flamigo's ability co-star will allow it to pick up any stat changes of its partner pokemon so you know if i have dragonite out which is another pokemon that's very popular in pgc right now and i'm dragon danced up i have like you know two dragon dances up so i'm at plus two speed and plus two attack well by going into my uh flamigo on the other side so this is doubles only flamigo will then copy its partner dragonite's stat boost which like i said are it's 
plus two speed and it's plus two attack. So now you have a Dragonite on the field with plus two speed, plus two attack, and a Flamigo on the field with plus two speed, plus two attack. So that is very, very concerning. Other Pokemon that I've kind of seen some more love lately is Armor Rouge and Suraledge and uh, also Espathra. So I think we could see more teams being built around them because you'll have people who now that they lose their Paradoxes, they're going to kind of fall on their next big things, which would be, you know, Don Dozo, Tatsugiri sets, uh, Arcanine, Talonflame, though both of those are really run, those in Amoongus are really run more in a support capacity. And then also on uh, Suraledge and Armorage. But yeah, that's kind of my thoughts on Regulation C. It is, a lot of people are not liking it because of the loss of Paradoxes. Really, you know, very important mon that shaped the game and now we're losing them. So it, it is hard, it does suck. But yeah, uh, be sure to let me know what you think of Regulation C. You got any kind of sets you're planning on running. Annihilate here in the party, that's another mon we could see get some love from... Uh, this change but yeah let me know your ideas for regulation c in the comments below your thoughts on it all that be sure to like subscribe and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss all of our future competitive discussion videos as well as our battles on the channel we are having a lot of fun with our battles so yeah you don't want to miss those and until next time i will see all of you later